Hello and welcome to today's reading from the Alive Church Life Transformation Bible Daily Discipleship Plan. We'll read the daily devotional as well as the verses chosen for today. This week our focus is on communion. I will remember the cross of Jesus through communion. It was only his death that Jesus told us to remember, not his birth or his life, his words or his works, only his death. I will do this through the commemorative act that Jesus instituted on the night before he was crucified, commonly known as the Lord's Supper or Communion. I will remember what Jesus did for me. I will remember with a grateful heart that through his grace he chose me. This was his plan and will for me before the beginning of time. I will remember with a grateful heart that he exchanged his life for mine. Jesus stepped in and took my place. As a result, I am no longer guilty of sin and am accepted by God the Father. I will remember with a grateful heart that he secured my position as a child of God through the cross. I will remember with a grateful heart that through all things his love sustains me. I will remember the cross of Jesus through communion. The small amount of bread and wine in this supper represents the work of Jesus on the cross. This one act of worship is central to remembering Jesus' sacrifice for me. I will prayerfully prepare my heart for communion through confession of my sin, asking God to draw me closer to Him from where I have drifted and by focusing on Jesus. As I take the bread, I will remember His body was broken for me. As I drink the wine, I will remember His blood was shed for the forgiveness of my sins and give thanks. Jesus' desire for me as his follower is to remember his sacrifice on the cross paved the way for the forgiveness of my sins and for me to have a right relationship with God the Father. As I do, I will be nourished and empowered by his Spirit, and I am proclaiming my faith as a follower of Jesus. I live in all the benefits of his resurrection from the dead and my anticipation and hope in his return. I will remember the cross of Jesus through communion. Day six in our Bible readings this week as we are focusing on communion. Today we look at how communion is for all Jesus followers. Galatians 3.28, there is no longer Jew or Gentile, slave or free, male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. 1 Corinthians 11.23 through 29, and this also contains our memory verse for this week. For I pass on to you what I received from the Lord himself. On the night when he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it in pieces and said, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup of wine after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant between God and his people, an agreement confirmed with my blood. Do this in remembrance of me as often as you drink it. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death, until he comes again. And there's more to that passage, so be sure you read all of 1 Corinthians 11, 23 through 29. Back to the Old Testament, Malachi 3:17. They will be my people, says the Lord of heaven's armies. On the day when I act in judgment, they will be my own special treasure. I will spare them as a father spares an obedient child. And our memory verse again, right out of 1 Corinthians 11, verse 26. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. Every day we encourage you to ask yourself some questions about that day's reading. One of those questions is, what action will you take to apply this truth? Be specific. Providing these daily readings is a ministry of Alive Church in Tucson. Find out more at AliveChurch.com.